Siema, yo, yo, widzki widzowie, kolejny, witam, witam, witam w kolejnym odcinku The Query I chyba dziesiąty raz, że będzie nas ostatni rozdział Gdy gram Kedilin Tak Dziesiąty rozdział Okay. Nice. I'll leave the realize I have his clothes and try the motel up the road. How long has this guy been here? Showtime, motherfuckers. Come on, man. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? What the? What the? Pierwszy raz dotarłem. Ja właśnie tu jest stanie. Czekaj. <laughs> Czekaj. Tak, tak, to jest dobra opcja. <laughs> Czekaj, będę miał do tego tablo. O, już koniec. <laughs> Krótko to było. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We ah, bonded you now, are. you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains, 
This night is over. Battery. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Pappy's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. The breath on your neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. No i koniec, ale to było krótkie. I to da. Chcę się jak wąsta Abi wyjemnować. Żywy, co kurwa? Żywy. Żywa. Martwy. No, nie da to nikt. Żywy biały wilk. No ale jak są żywy biały wilk, to jest dobry. No bardzo mi takie. Wajaj. Nawet, no zaraz do oku. Bodies pile up after summer camp massacre. What do you make of that, Andrew? Kind of a gross way to put it, no? Why make a pile? I think it's metaphorical. At least, I hope it's metaphorical. Ja po tym podcastu tam wydał Ryan. What was this like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are bizarre yet bona fide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace, and I'm Anton, and together we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life. Everyday occurrences, and that's exactly what they are: real life, everyday occurrences, with a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. Okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. 
Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There's been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell okay, let's keep vibe this. to it. Who do you know okay, on the inside? The inside of where? Uh. What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a that podcast. No one's on listening. Podcast. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really blue. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you tell me, you guys? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just I don't know what that's a No, get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Uh-huh. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. I would think that they dropped their camera at Hackett's quarry. Okay, then where are they now? You'd think that would at least provide some sort of lead to finding them, but no, nothing. People get lost in the woods all the time. It's the woods. There are trees everywhere. It's very good cover. This is sounding personal. It personal? Yes, I've been to the woods. Did you get lost? Did I get lost? I have been lost. Have you never gotten lost before? I've never been to the woods. You just told me the other day that you went to the woods to investigate the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. You're right. That was my first time. I got stung by a mosquito. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right. So these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes. You say only, but this oh. land actually spans oh, acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Oh, okay. A great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. 
Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. I do say so, and here's why. Apparently, when I went to snoop around in North Kill, that place I stayed at, the Harbinger Motel. Uh huh. They know someone who knows them, and they said the Hackett family are cursed. Oh, the staff at the Harbinger Motel in North Kill, New York, said that something happened? Well, then it must be true. Yeah, it was crazy. I struck up a conversation, and I didn't even bring up supernatural or curses. They brought it up first. Have you considered that maybe they're bored? Why? You work in a haunted hotel. What could possibly be boring okay, about that? Okay, a haunted motel. You're right, you're right. So apparently, yeah, yeah, since yeah. the quarry closed, they've been down on their luck. Hence, the scrapyard and the camp, trying everything to make enough money to get by. Are they cursed, or are they just bad with money? Maybe both. They said there was so much outrage when all the quarrymen were let go, that it left a lingering stench of negative vibes on the family. Ah, yes, that famous unit of measurement, negative vibes. I mean, it's pouring off of you right now. Anyways, that's just what I heard, so I felt as though I must mention it. You do you, buddy. So? So? What do you think? Wow, well, um, yeah, I don't know. I was expecting more, I guess. Why do people always say that to me? It'll be carved on your gravestone when you die. So dark. I know. Well, this is what we got. We gotta try and throw all the evidence together. Time to ink up our brain pens and ink draw up our some brain concrete. pens? Disgusting. You never heard that phrase? It's a classic phrase. A classic phrase. Who said it first? Leave me alone. I'm tired. And hey, I'm not saying that whatever happened wasn't weird, but I just can't honestly say anything else about it. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp remains shrouded in mystery because my friend Anton here, and we are just friends to everyone asking about our natural chemistry in what? the comments. As usual, Anton cannot be convinced. I hope you had fun anyways, and don't worry, we're always on the hunt for supernatural occurrences. Or natural occurrences. Ooh, supernatural occurrences. Super we're natural. actually more interested in super because super is better super, than nothing. Super. In the hope that one day we will so prove okay, one man. as bizarre yet bona fide. For now, though, I guess some things are better left in the dark. The only people who will ever know the truth are those who experience these things. As for us, we're just happy you're listening. Thank you, and see you next time, bona fiders. You gotta stop calling them that. So I'm going to see if I can see the quarry.
お bo kurde, jak gramy długo trwałe, to napij co dobrze. Przyjęcie robię. I jesteśmy po napisach skończono końcowych. Czy cofanie śmierci dokonano? Opcja cofania śmierci panowie czy ona zwania zgodne na znaczy. Czy coś włączyć typ cofania? Tak. Cofanie śmierci. Masz w kolejnym I co mi to daje? Dobra, ja się to wam nie zagnał. To było te query w moim wykonaniu. Jutro będzie nowa seria od tych fałych twórców. Będzie nowa fajna zabawa. No. Więc do zobaczenia jutro, do poniedziałku. Papa, papa, papa.